Ah, greetings, fellow eggshell viewers and viewers like mine. My name is Sashi Tuk, and well, here I am, starting a new series of this uh, playthrough of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, a 13th edition. Now, uh, the reason why I'm playing this game is because, well, you know, I have, a, I have a historical knack for history, and well, seeing that Romance of the Three Kingdoms is actually the origin of most uh, Chinese uh, warfare history, you know, I've got to take the liberty of, t uh, what was it, um, yeah, taking, you know, trying to narrate and all that such. So yeah, without further ado, join me in this historical, ac uh, this historical simulation of this game. So yeah, um, let's see. Now we have a whole bunch of things. I'm o I'm gonna play this uh, game twice. Uh, one as my uh, OC from my book, and the other as a uh, community playthrough. So if you guys got any um, characters you guys want to enter in, uh, now's the time to actually start uh, entering in. So yeah, well the the time period that I'm going to enter in this playthrough is 19. Yeah. Yeah, 19, no, the year 195, Warlords. The reason why is because this is the most interesting time period that uh, actually pretty much uh, everything happens and so on and so forth. Lu Bu tries to take, tries to beat up Tao Tao while Lu Bei takes over uh, <coughs> Jia Pei and the other places. And, uh, what was it, uh, who was that guy, uh, Yuan Shao also tries to take the north. So yeah, uh, now we're going to enter in a whole bunch of characters here, it's mainly uh, these two because they're the main characters, and then um, I already, pretty much everybody here that I made, because uh, cause they're all kind of important here, so on and so forth, uh, and my, yeah, myself as well has makes an appearance, but I think that's it, because I don't want to add these people in, uh, maybe on the community playthrough. I'll add in all of these people in there, but uh, for now, um, I think I'll leave them alone. <coughs> Try to keep it, uh, keep it, uh, styling. Let's see, no new forces. That's on the community playthrough, where, where like uh, the AI will try to take over stuff, and I will play as the OC on this uh, game, not my book. So, at that time, so yeah, um, we're gonna start posting them. Let's see. They're all together, these four at least. Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of where to enter. Uh, huh. I'm trying to think. Uh, <coughs> I don't want to enter here because they might they might be bored and so on and so forth. Uh, guess we'll take the interesting route. Put it there. Um. Nah, nah, they won't join forces. Uh. Let's see, uh, Shun Yi and also, uh, Zhong Zun are together. They will be, uh, somewhere. Yeah, they'll be with Lu Bei. There we go. Um, hmm. yeah, these two are fighting somewhere, whatnot. Ju Chang, and then um, what else is here? Asian Trump. Yes, Asian Trump is going to show up here somehow. Somehow, he's going to be based in Changsha. And then um, let's see, Karyakamo, probably in Wu. There we go. Nah. Yes, these two useless folks being the employee of Tao Tao. Um, let's see, uh, me and myself, I guess he'll be in one. <coughs> one. I guess, uh, I might as well put him on somewhere. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. That's it. Now, of course, I will be playing as my character here, so uh, we're gonna put on mid level because you know I haven't even gotten used to the game and so on and so forth. It's kind of uh, really hard. I'll, I'll keep them in Japanese. So, yeah, let's go. <coughs> why does he have a head? No, why does he have a bandana? We don't know. But hey. 
Hmm. Hmm. With the crumbling of the collision against him, all believe that Dong Shu was a tyrann tyrannical conquest of. Uh oh. Nah. However, Wan Yu and Diao Chan's seductive thought turned loyal retainer Lu Bu against Dong Zhuan and was assassinated. Uh, that's, uh, I guess I'll just. I, uh, I wish I could. Uh, hmm. Rapidly growth and strength. Growing in strength, yeah. Uh, displacing Lu Bu returned, seizing Fu Yang to raise his flag and claim land of his own! Ha ha! Uh, successor of Tao Qian. Lu Bei rose in Chu Pao problem. Soon Se separated from Yuan Chu and seized Lu Jiang. Following Dong Zhuo's death, these powerful men were driven into conflict by duty and or ambition. Ah! You know I yeah. I screwed that up even though it was low. Alright. Alrighty. Here's all we'll do. Um Better set it uh settings here. Expansion troop recovery. No, no, no. No. Messaging speed. Yeah, stop because you know I've got to read it as well for you guys. Um So what do we got here? Uh mm -hmm. Alright. Guess we'll just uh and yeah, we've got relations with uh Rinko here. Uh we don't got anything, so <coughs> Let's investigate here for a little bit. Huh. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, we'll just keep on investigating. Hmm? Ah, no, I'm good. Huh? Ah. We'll follow wherever Rinko goes. Mm -hmm. Lu Su, yeah, it's Sensei's army. <coughs> Before he died, Tao Qian uh, granted Lu Bei, Zhu Province. Which infuriated Tata. <coughs> At Fred Rupei, he snatched Jew province from my grasp like a common thief. So, so beard. I'll treat him like. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, he's saying something. <laughs> Caution, my lord. If you invade Zhu province, Lu Bu will undoubtedly attack from behind. You should eliminate Lu Bu and control Yan province first, and then concentrate your efforts on taking Zhu province. Mm. Very well. Zhu province will have my wrath after Lu Bu is dealt with. Mm. Ah. Tao's advan advance towards Tu Yang toppled Lu Bu's officers with ease. Mm. Take that! Wagabuni! <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> we cannot win if the skirmish continues. Ah, damn it! You understand, Cretans? Retreat! Uh, Tata's br brutal attack made Lu Bu retreat to the safety of Puyang. However, Tata had already captured it, and so when Lu Bu stood at the gates, they would not open for him. Nowhere to hide, Lu Bu turned to rumors of Lu Bei for hope and headed to Zhu Province for aid. Message has arrived for Lu Bu! From Lu Bu! He seeks our help and is marching for Zhu Province! Masaka. Uh, shall we aid him? Chi. <laughs> you must be kidding! Do not hope that dog, you will only bring chaos to our ranks! Uh, he speaks the truth. Nothing good ever comes from dealing with Lu Bu. Shu province is still unstable. It will only become worse unless we reject, we reject him. Uh, oh boy. 
I, Liu Bei, shall take full responsibility. Send for our courier! Arigato. I am most grateful! Thank you for receiving me! Ah, <sighs> do not thank me. I am more ha happy to aid such a distinguished officer. Besides, I was looking for someone capable enough to give control of two provinces to you. Nanto. Hmm, are you serious, my lord? I, Liu Bei, offer you the privilege to govern Zhu province. Do you accept? <laughs> my younger brother, I am flattered by your offer, but I must refuse. <laughs> younger brother? What is that man think he is? <sighs> Silence. I'm sorry to hear that. Then station yourself in Jia Pei for now. You must be tired from the journey. You and your soldiers should rest and mend your wounds. You're most generous and kind. Thank you. We shall. Ah, that's how defeats Liu Bu and conquers the Yan province. Liu Bu enters Jia Pei, relying on Liu Bei. Now Zhang Miao was slain by its subordinate while in retreat. <laughs> Dang. Ay, ay. Yeah, it really was a waste. Alright, uh, let's see, here we go. Let's see what's in the gift shop. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I think it's time to travel around the world for a little bit. We'll go to Gang Ling, see what it has to offer. How about Japan? <laughs> ah, nothing. Sate, you go. I see. Let's see. I better pay attention to this because I'm trying to track everybody's movements. Um. Let's see. <sighs> Nothing at the moment. Um. Yeah, we'll head to Kiao first. I think. I think some of these cities change on different scenarios. Ah, so. Rinko joined the Yuan Shao army. I think I'll join them too. I make an adventure around here. Uh. Hmm. Asian Trump inside Liu Biao's army. <laughs> okay. Uh. No, not that. Ah, nothing. <coughs> We'll investigate for a little bit. Hmm? Sure. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, nothing. Very well. Um. But I gotta see which city I think I was stationed in. Uh. Probably Ping Yuan. Nope, not there. Nan P. Ah, ah, okay. We're gonna go to Zhong San. Yeah, we'll probably hit a city or two while we're at it. Stupid bugs. <laughs> 
Sate, you go. Yes, I'm trying to look for equipment. If they can offer me any, that is. Well, G province real fast. Okay. Right. Check the shop first. <coughs> Nothing has changed. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> Well, let's investigate. Ah. Let's keep investigating. Um. All right. Let's aid the people here. Here we go. Huh. Domo, Sumadu. Yeah, we just gotta keep assisting these people until they notice me. Senpai notice us. <coughs> Please. <laughs> さて、ジンヤン。<笑><笑> Oh, come on, where are the interesting weapons? Sate, you go. Huh. <coughs> Man, as expected, a bandit would go to Lubu's army. Hmm. Following Dong Zhuo's death, a struggle for power emerged between his two officers, Lu Ji and Guo Si. Distressed by their greed, Emperor Jian fled Chang'an and escaped towards the outskirts of Luoyang, where Cao Cao held territory. When Emperor Jian called for aid, Cao Cao held a meeting with his officers to plan a course of action. Mm, the Han Dynasty is no longer in power. What purpose is there in helping the Emperor? There is none! 
<sighs> you speak too soon. The people trust in the Emperor yet. We will gain their favor if we rescue them. Him. Are you not a warlord of the Han Dynasty? Think of the fame and honor we might gain to be the Emperor's hero. Mm. Mm. I agree with Jun Ch Jun Yu. There is honor in saving the Emperor and it will bolster our reputation. Ready the army! We'll head for we will head for Yuluo Yang. With a small company, Emperor Jian arrived arrives in Luoyang. How dreadful! The palace, the houses, everything is in ruin. There is no place for people to live. Liu Ji and Guo Xi are coming! The armies approach Luoyang from the west! No uh, shame! Cao Cao didn't make it in time! We'll fend off the enemy, so escape Lu Yang while you can! Officer! Lu Ji and Gu Xi has fleeced from the east! Wait, no! It's Cao Cao! Cao Cao is coming with reinforcements! <laughs> Disrupted by Cao Cao, Lu Li Ju and Guo Xi's forces are thrown into disarray and flee. Tao Tao at the front lines stampedes into Luo Yang. Oh, thank goodness you came, Tao Tao. You're our pillar of light. Mm, thank you. Though while Lu Li Jue and Guo Xi still live, you can be sure they will attack again. Therefore, I have a suggestion to make. What is it? You may speak. Lu Yang is a wasteland. The only thing lacking more than walls is to fit to defend is food to eat. Zhu Chang, on the other hand, has both fortresses and wealth. Relocate the capital to Zhu Chang until we clean this mess up, that is. Very well. We should, we'll do as Tao Tao suggests. Shou -chi. Hmm, excellent. And so, Tao Tao earned the honor of rescuing Emperor Tian and th the capital was moved. Mm hmm. Alright. Yeah. Duty res records increased. Ah. Abandoned Beihai in seats. Yeah. Ta Ta's aid. Moves on. Moves to Wan. And Ta Ta is assigned chief minister. Huh. <sighs> there we go. The Han Emperor is now up for grabs. Hmm. Alright. Uh, nothing. <sighs> okay, uh... Jiang Jiang. Maybe the farther I am, I get more better items. Hmm. Yeah, that is a little bit true. Maybe if I marched a little bit more south, like, uh, <coughs> Jiangxia. Go ahead there. <coughs> Defeated in the battle against Tao Tao, Lu Bu sought the aid of Lu Bei in Tu Province. Lu Bei gave Xiao Pei over to Lu Bu. That would be a troubling alliance to deal with. Why not convince Lu Bu to betray Lu Bei? Mm, do you have a plan for that? <laughs> order Lu Bei to battle Yan Shu by Imperial Order and use that time to take Chu Province from Lu Bu. Alone, he won't stand a chance. Yes. <coughs> a brilliant strategy. That is what we shall do. The Imperial Order to attack Yuan Shu was delivered to Liu Bei immediately. Mm. We should not obey the order. It is a trap devised by Cao Cao because he fears us uniting with Lu Bu. <sighs> mm. The question is, who will protect the fortress while we do so? Ah, I will stay! Leave the defense to me! <coughs> I think not. You listen to no one and act violent when you're dark drunk. I promise I won't drink and I'll listen to others' opinions. How there? <sighs> Fine. 
The defense is yours, but I'll leave Top out to advise you while you we are gone. Yes, sir. I'll ah. disagree. <coughs> All right. Liu Bei had great success in battles against Yuan Chu, but th was unable to un overcome his vast army. Zhang Fei, hearing news about Liu Bei's victories, held a party with the soldiers back at home. <laughs> ha! Drink up, lads! Shu province can protect itself for a night! Let's celebrate! Well, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a drink! Welcome. Have you forgotten the promise you made? <laughs> Stop talking back at me! Oh, oh. Oh. You want a whipping! God damn it, Zhang Fei. Uh. <laughs> Beaten by Zhang Fei, Cao Bao stormed from the fortress in anger and informed Lu Bu how to take the city. With Cao Bao's help, Lu Bu quickly dominated Zhu province. In the chaos, Zhang Fei killed Cao Pao. Yeah, the uh, yeah, cow, yeah, Cao, Cao Bao, and then fled to tell Lu Bei the news. Sadness, sadness ensues. Alini. That, that damn Lu Bu betrayed us. I'm sorry. I planned to give Zhu Province to him in the first place. Now it is done. Gomen. Uh, saying you're sorry won't undo what you've done. Oh, no, come on, you man. broke your promise and have the nerve to say us! I came only to tell about the betrayal of Dubu. <laughs> now that my duty's done, my knife is not forfeit! Ah! Uh, wait! Wife and children are like clothes. You, my brothers, like an arm. I can replace clothes, but never an arm. We are sworn brothers and vow only to die together. I will not allow you to throw your life away alone. <laughs> but now that our home is lost, we have nowhere to return. <laughs> no, no, Toto faces Lu Bu. I'm sure he will welcome us. Indeed, that may be our only option. Mm -hmm. And so Lu Bei was welcomed by Tao Tao and given Kiao. What Tao Tao didn't know was the problem Lu Bu controlling Zhu province would later create. Ay ay, under Imperial Command, his army seeks Tao Tao's aid. Ay ya. They all be running away and stuff. Ah, yes, we'll enter Zhang Chia. Let's see what's going on around here. Hmm. Nothing. <sighs> Maybe if we had Yu Shang? Yeah, we'll head there. Yukoka. Oh, it's all about eyes. Oh well. Uh. Hmm. Head the woo. He saw you stuck will send Asian Trump going to Changsha. Huh, funny. <sighs> okay, nothing here. I guess the fun items aren't on yet. I think that's when, uh. Yeah, we have to wait until the Battle of Cher B. That's when all the items start becoming available. I think. <sighs> Looks like Asian Trump is taking over everything. Trying to loan him a small loan of a million dollars, I guess. Alright, we'll head.
さて行こうかうん<coughs> Looks like Yuan Chu is heading to Guangling Oh, what's this? They're attacking each other That's so. Sate, you go. Oh, well, who gate got taken over? Um, all right, I think it's time to swear my allegiance, or maybe, uh. I'll just check around real quick. You go. Here we go. All right. Well, since there's nothing around, which uh, well, I kind of already know what allegiance I'm gonna have to go. But what would happen next in this uh playthrough of Romance of the Three Kingdoms? Find out in the next episode of this playthrough of uh this game. Like and favorite, favorite if you joined the session of it. Subscribe to call on my eggshell views and yeah, look forward for the next episode. This is Yasashi Tsukun signing out. Have a good day, everybody. Stay sharp out there. Hopefully, you guys uh, you know, start fighting that kingdom of yours that you might want to serve. Well, anyways, gotta go. See ya! Bye!